السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear Grade 5 students Hello again I am Ahmed Al-Farahati and I wish you all the best of everything Today inshallah we will study Unit 2 Food and Health Lesson 4 Please open your skills book to page 15 this page what are the aims of this lesson let's check unit 2 food and health lesson 4 skills book page 15 activities 3 and 4 class book page 17 activities 4 and 5 the aims in this lesson students will ask and answer yes no questions containing countable and uncountable food nouns write questions and answers with countable and uncountable food nouns write sentences about foods let's go to page 15 of your skills book Activity 3 Read and match Read these questions about food and match the questions to the answers 1. Is sugar good for you? 2. Are oranges good for you? 3. Is ice cream good for you? 4. Are sweets good for you? 5. Is spinach good for you? Look at this word. You can pronounce it spinach or spinach. And the answers are yes, they are. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. No, they aren't. Number 1 is done for you. You are asked to match the questions to the answers take your time to do the activity then come back to check your answers hello again I'll match the questions to the answers in order to check yours number one is done for you is sugar good for you no it isn't number two are oranges good for you yes they are excellent so this is number two. Three. Is ice cream good for you? No, it isn't. Yes. This is number three. Four. Are sweets good for you? No, they aren't. Yes. And number five. Is spinach good for you? Yes, it is. Activity 2 Think and write Look at these pictures of food Write questions and answers about each one Look at the example Here we have carrots So the question is Are carrots good for you? Yes, they are You are asked here to practice writing questions and answers Yes Number two, chicken. Three, sugar. Four, chocolate. Five, apples. You are asked to write questions and answers like these. Take your time to do the activity, then come back to check your answers. Hello again. I'll write the questions and the answers in order to check your answers. Number two is chicken good for you? The answer is yes, it is because it is healthy. Three is sugar good for you 
Don't forget the question mark. And the answer? No, it isn't. Number four. Is chocolate good for you? No, it isn't. Five are apples good for you? Yes, they are. Dear students, if you look at these questions carefully, you will find that if we ask about countable food nouns, we use are, are carrots, are apples. And if we ask about uncountable food nouns, we use is, is it chicken, is it sugar, is it chocolate. Let's go to page 17 of your class book. This page, activity four, speak, work with the partner, make your own dialogues, use the foods from activity one and your own ideas. Look here, are good for you? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Is good for you? Yes, it is. Or no, it isn't. You are asked to work with your friend to make your own dialogues, okay? And you can use the foods from activity one, these foods. Let me make some dialogues here. Is ice cream good for you? No, it isn't. Is fish good for you? Yes, it is. Are carrots good for you? Yes, they are. Is it chicken good for you? Yes, it is. Is brown bread good for you? Yes, it is. Is yogurt good for you? Can you answer this question? Yes. Are cakes good for you? Are tomatoes good for you? Is burger good for you? Is lattice good for you? Activity 5 Draw and write Think of two countable food nouns and two uncountable food nouns Draw a picture for each noun and write a sentence stating whether each type of food is good or bad for you let's look at the examples here we have an example for countable nouns and an example for uncountable nouns sweets are bad for you fish is good for you you are asked here to think of two countable food nouns and the two uncountable food nouns Draw a picture for each noun, then write a sentence stating whether each type of food is good or bad for you, like the examples here. Okay? You can write so many sentences. Think of only two countable food nouns and two uncountable food nouns. Do this activity at home, and I think you understand the lesson and understand how to write sentences like these by this we've achieved the, the aims of this lesson thank you for following me goodbye